everyone, welcome to Simply WCR. Today I have my coworker Bree over here. And like I said yesterday, I have my package with this uh, yarn ball winder that I'm going to review today, along with this new uh, thing that will hold my phone when I do my videos because I've been using this magical item that is attached, well, basically taped to this acrylic gesso jar. Yeah, I'm cheap, so <laughs> I just use that. So hopefully this item will actually work better. The only reason why I did that is because it doesn't have enough height, so that's why I bought this item, which should have more height than that one. But then I also got this a little box from Vistaprint because I had to get new business cards due to the fact that I have my Etsy shop now, so I wanted the website to have my Etsy instead of my uh, Facebook. So we're just going to get started here and she's going to be doing the review with me just to let you know. But let's get started. So first off we're going to do the business cards um, just to do it real quick. But I haven't opened it yet. Well obviously it's open now but if I can open it. Thank you Bree, my assistant. You're very welcome. So they put a box inside a box. Very nice. Yeah. Obviously it's from Vistaprint. I've always had good luck with them. I should just have Bree be the box opener. Dun, da, da, da. And I got a different style this time compared to the other ones that I got. And like usual, they give me a little 20% off thing whenever I get uh, business cards and whatnot. Yep. The final Ooh. reveal. Ooh. This is supposed to be the back side from what I know of. It's a little off-center, as you can see, but I don't really care. I really don't. And then, front side, and I like it. You can actually read the words correctly. Because I was afraid that they were going to be too small and that the font was going to be too fancy for it, but it works out pretty well. What do you think, Bree? I think it's very nice. Reminds me of your old phone case. True. I love, as you, well, many can tell that I love marble patterns. So, business cards are good to go. I got a hundred of them, so they should last me for a while. Put those aside, and Zuko is getting into Bree's yarn bag. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't see anything. It's like, don't record me. So we'll put those aside. Next step, we have... The package with the two other items. The no, oh, there it is. Bree's gonna open up with that for me. So. Air. I love getting air because you know I run out of air a lot of times. <laughs> Here it is. I'll probably test it out here soon. But just showing off the boxes for a moment. Packaging is nice. Um, not really going to show that off. I'm mostly concentrated on this item right here. The winder of yarn. Yep. Knit Picks Ball Winder. Life just got easier. And I did read the reviews. Some say that you might want to um, hold the yarn tighter. So I'm going to set that thing up so that way we can do a video of this to review it. So stay tuned. So I got my phone on the little mounting thing and I can say it's pretty good. It's definitely taller. It's just that it's hard to bend the wiring just a bit. But so far it's nice. And then as you can see, I got my little ball winder here. Oop, here comes Zuko. <laughs> and um, I follow the instructions. You just put the little string on top of this slip that they have at the top. But um, so far, I can say that's smaller than I expected. Not going to complain. I just needed something to organize my yarn better. But... So far, it's nice. From what I could tell, we're about to 
wind up my first skein of yarn. And Zuko, you're not allowed to mess with the yarn. Not in this video. Go to Brie. Come here. Come here. So we're gonna start winding it up and see how it goes. And it says to go at a steady pace, so that's what I'm gonna do. No, you can't have the yarn. No. Let's see. Probably I should unwind the original skein. A little bit more. He really just wants to get that yarn. Yep. The natural instinct of cat. Get the yarn. Look, look. No. Go on. Go on, Hambo. Yep. Messed up. And it says that if it gets tangled, to just unwind it. I don't know if I'm just going the wrong way, or... Oh, it does say which way to go. <laughs> Please Zuka. read carefully. And Zuko is having the time of his life just having fun with the loose strand of yarn. So, let me undo this real quick. Yeah, Zook was being a butthead. He wants all the yarn that's just flowing through right now. He's looking at it like it's a Christmas tree. Which he loves too. A gift from Santa. Just a bunch of yarn falling from the sky. No. No, no, no. Alright, now let's start this over. Get the string. Latched on at the top, and this time correctly winding it up. So far it's looking nicely. Oh, did I get a tangle? I did. Yeah, definitely go slow when you're doing this. Cause it looks like it does get caught on the edge once in a while. But I'm just gonna pause this for a second so that way I can continue this cause I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to continuously see me winding up yarn. <laughs> but I'll let you see the ending result. So I'll be back in just a second. So, we got this far, and definitely for sure this is just a winder for your scrap yarn, but I'm going to say it's not that bad. I mean, you definitely have to watch by a certain point that it doesn't get stuck along the edges. It, I paid $20 for it. I honestly don't think $20 is worth this too much. I would have said 10 yeah, probably. I mean, you couldn't even wind the whole skein. You had this left. Yeah, I got quite a bit left in just a single skein, so that's why this will be just meant for when every time I do a project, this would be for my leftover yarn. But for the most part, if this were for, like, if I knew, like, ha I could get two bun hats out of each skein, I'd probably roll it up into di two different skeins, but for this it's definitely just a single scrap yarn ball winder. But it's not bad, it works. But as we both agree, it's definitely not worth $20 to pay for. But I'm keeping it anyways just because it still works like it's supposed to. It's just that I can't use it for whole skeins like I wanted to use it for. Maybe one day I will find one that's bigger and I can actually get more out of. But anyways, thank you for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day. Hey everyone, um, I know I just got done with my review. Well, not, I didn't just get done, but um... 
when I did the review with Bree, I didn't notice one detail. I didn't know that this thing moved and it actually made things a little easier. Still not going to change the fact that it's not worth $20 because it really isn't too much. I'm currently using my scrap yarns to roll up. It's working pretty well. I got this one right here and it makes it so compact and just strong. And it's also to where you can actually just pull out the center and it goes from the center and you're not starting from the outside. But yeah, they're turning out really nice and more organized. But I just wanted to show you guys this yarn that I'm about to do just to show it. And instead of having it here, I'm just moving the bar over here. That's where it made the difference. I don't know if it was supposed to originally be like that or if you just position it a certain way so that way it would turn out differently. I'm not sure. It doesn't really come with paper instructions. I should probably roll that in here real quick. I'm just going to place that on there and then start off slow. And then I can start going fast. I can definitely say that the bar made a very big difference when it moved. So that's my mistake. I will admit that I should have examined it a little bit more. But so far I could say that I'm more pleased with it now. That I know that the metal bar moves. But I do know that this is going to come in handy because it doesn't take that long to roll up my scrap yarns. I mean for those that have a lot more yarn left over it is going to be more to do. But I figured I should show you this one skein, well part of skein yarn. And as you could have seen it still had quite a bit left over. And um, hopefully... It'll turn out like it's supposed to. I do notice like once in a while as you're turning this little crank sound comes out of it. So I don't know if I'm pushing too hard. And you do have to be careful because just like right here it can get tangled up. So if you get to the very end I would recommend just kind of spreading it out so that way it's easier to roll up. I had to lock Zuka out or else he would try to attack the yarn. Which by the way if you have a cat and they like yarn and they attack it no matter what. I'd recommend making sure they're nowhere nearby. And then as you get closer to the end, I keep it tight and slowly go around and just bring the end over, just like that. And then I just pull this off and pull this out. And there you have this nice, neat roll. So, if I were to say how much this is worth, probably still $10. Now, is it very useful? Yes, it is. Because it makes it more compact, especially if you have a small craft room like me. This would become very helpful in being able to organize it. So that way, you have more room for other items. Because, as you can see, with the flat top, you could actually probably stack them into a small shelf. But that is all for today. Sorry for the mistake. I keep bumping into this. But I will link the product down below. It is $19.99 if you still want to pay the money for it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry for the inconvenience on the first part of the review. But have a wonderful day, guys.